Welcome back to PWA for Beginner series. This is the last video of chapter one where we're going to do a little recap. So Patrick, you're with me today hey. again. Yeah. <laughs> We've talked about a lot of information on you know, what progressive web apps are, uh, about service workers, about advanced capabilities. So today, why don't you help us recap all the things that we've learned? Sure, and let's go ahead and try. I think I want to start by saying that, as always in software development, there's probably many different ways to do the thing that you're trying to do. PWA, um, I'm sorry, it's not going to be a silver bullet for you every time, right? It's a great solution to build apps, but ultimately it's going to depend on your particular use cases. So I think it's really important to know the different options that are at your disposals, know the pros and cons for each one of them. PWA is one way to build your app. Um, and this way is particularly interesting because it comes with this great benefit of having just one code base for all devices, right? So from one code base, you can build your app for the web, for mobile devices, for desktop devices, laptops, all operating systems. Uh, there's no need to build a new app from scratch for each new device. Uh, which also cuts down a lot on the maintenance cost, right? So it's a lot of time saved, lower cost, definitely. So instead you can focus on learning the web technologies. Um, and if you're on a team as well, it means that everybody on that team can use the same technologies. They don't need to be siloed by whether they're working on the, on the Windows app or versus the Mac app. Um, so that makes a lot of difference as well. Now, it's not going to be magical either, right? Your app is not going to magically adapt to a mobile phone as well as a tablet, as well as a bigger screen, right? You're still going to have to do a lot of work to make that work. But, you know, with the power of CSS, with the power of these advanced capabilities that we've talked about, I think it's a really great, very compelling option to build apps nowadays. These apps are really based on the web. And, you know, we keep saying this, but I think it's important to repeat it because the web comes with like uh, very interesting aspects that are going to be really interesting for your app as well. In particular, web things are discoverable from search engines, right? And that means your app will also be discoverable. If you're not on the web, if you're a traditional app and you're only available in an app store, Sometimes it may be a little bit challenging for users to find you. I think being in a search engine gives you a lot of, and being linkable gives you a lot of, uh, a big added advantage there. Apps that are based on web technologies are also responsive. You know, using CSS, it's actually becoming a lot easier these days to make an app that responds to the size of the screen that you're, you know, that's available on a device. And even if you've seen those newer devices that have two screens, CSS can even let you create really interesting and engaging layouts across the two screens as well. Uh, things that are based on the web are also safe because the content that goes between the app and the web servers is encrypted, you know, end to end. Um, and again, uh, they're also linkable. You know, your app is going to be linkable. So somebody could send you a link to the app. Uh, so those are really key advantages of building with web technology. Another big added value that I can see is this notion of no strings attached. If you want to try an app and it's a device specific app, like a native app, then you need to, you know, install it, which may be long and sometimes a little bit slow because the app, the app is heavy. Uh, if you're not interested, you need to uninstall it, which, you know, I think there's, a, there's more friction this way. Uh, if you want to try a PWA instead, you just go to it in your web browser by typing the URL or looking for it in a search engine, and you can, you know, try it right away. There's really no strings attached. If you're interested in it, then you can install it so that you have the little icon on your home screen or uh, in taskbar. Um, so that's one big added value. Uh, the other thing is about updates. I think it helps a lot uh, cut on maintenance costs as well. If you want to do an update of a native app, usually it's a lot of uh, work because you need to redeploy a whole new package for each of the devices. And then people you know, throughout the world who have your app will need to download everything. Um, usually they need to go ahead and download it again and run the, down the installation steps again. And this adds a lot more friction as well. 
With PWAs, you can do this entirely transparently as well, right? You can just, your single code base, you update the code, you push it to the web server, that's one thing. And then the all of the clients, like all of the apps throughout the world can be updated transparently via the service worker again. So the service worker again is gonna be a magical thing in the middle here that can download all of the new versions of the files and then update your app without you even realizing. I think the, the other advantage of building PWS as well is that I think they are lighter, right? The installation process is usually much quicker. Uh, the only thing you need is downloading the few first files that are needed to display the app. And then, you know, as you keep using the app, it can go and download more from the web as needed, but it doesn't need to download the whole thing from the start. Native apps, they just need to have the whole thing, right? Uh, and sometimes it's a many megabytes or many gigabytes. Uh, PWAs can start really small. They're based on the web, so they absolutely know how to do like fetch new uh, data, fetch new things from the web whenever they need. So that's a much quicker and much lighter install experience as well. Is that all? Awesome. High five. That's all of the recap. I oh, know that's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Patrick. Um, thank you for the recap to remind us why we build progressive web apps and you know how to go, uh, we throughout the course, we went into how to go about starting one. Um, what are all the benefits? What's service worker? What's web capabilities? Um, and this concludes the last video of Yay. our chapter one. This was so, really fun. I was really excited to be on that call and uh, thanks a lot, Beth. Thank you. So hope you learned a lot, just like me. Um, here are some additional resources, just like we showed you before. If you would like to explore progressive web apps on your own, uh, you can see some of these are from us and some of these are from our partners, because like I said, we're a community. All of us are behind this together. So join me in the next video where we will be talking about everything Service Worker. See you all.